Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I am SimTwitch and welcome back to the unofficial, unofficial Gran Turismo 7 community challenge. This week we're going to be taking on Red Bull full layout in cars rated 850 performance points or less. So I'm going to be using the Chaparral 2J, uh, I saw it in the Legend Cars dealership and thought I'm going to pick that up despite it being well over half my budget. So. Here, I'm not going to get anything from the extreme page. Racing, I think there's very little you can buy. So I buy customizable transmission, and I think that's about it. Um, we're going to have a little look, see what else. And there's absolutely no body customization or anything like that. Uh, oh yeah, we get pick up the power restrictor and the ballast um, to make sure the car will drop down into the 850 rating. Um, it was only I did this on a whim because the car, as I say, was in Legend dealership. And I thought, oh, it's an interesting car um, that I've never driven before in another game. And I think it turns out to be quite useless for a lot of things. Um, so here we are, we're going to cut to Red Bull and then I will show you what I do to the car. Um, so this is all in real time, as you can see. So make the front end a little bit stiffer. Um, I leave the gearing for now. Um, I leave alone quite a lot of stuff. As you see, there's almost nothing fitted here. Um, so we're going to restrict the power down and then try and play um, with that. So we're going to restrict the ECU. Um, to 79% and then we're going to play around with lowering it a little bit to try and bring it right up as close as we can to that 500 rating um, so I do play around with it a little bit um, I think in the end we decide to stay at 100, 101 uh, that's about as close as I was going to go I wanted to leave uh, suspension mostly I still don't really know what I'm doing with it so this is my best overall lap if you want to be nice and wide into turn one bump over that curb don't take too much of the runoff there and then up the hill into what I would call turn two it's probably turn three uh, on the brakes just after the 150 before the 100 board nice and around avoiding that bumpy little sausage curb we're about three tenths up on previous here so into this braking zone you could be a lot later than you think as I think I am here maybe even a little early there I'd say uh, getting a bit slidey you see the ghost did that as well there um, and yeah this car is a very slidey car to drive despite the racing hard tyres this one you drop down a couple of gears around the corner and there we go so yeah, if you'd like to have a go at this yourself, 850 racing racing cars are allowed. The only thing that I'm going to ban is nitrous and hybrids. Um, everything else is fair game, racing car or not. And yeah, I'd like to know what you would choose to use, uh, what sort of setup you'd give it. Um, whether you take a high-powered car and downgrade it, or take a better car and worsen it if that makes sense I just realized what I said didn't make sense because I said detune it uh, twice so either take a lower powered car and upgrade it or detune a higher powered car so lap 9 was my best first then lap 18 my best middle and then lap 15 was my best final sector uh, as we saw there um, and you see there were a couple of laps where I had spins um, where the huge dips are um, but yeah it was an interesting car to drive a very fun car to drive as well um, and as you've seen the setup you can go and make that yourself it does cost a bit over two and a half million I think um, so here is the run on to lap nine um, so lap eight was my fastest and then we're going to eclipse that in the first sector here that was a really good run through turn one. Little style on the exit, but um, I could not replicate this. I was really trying, but 
I just couldn't quite remember how because I think this lap I ended up spinning out of this corner uh, maybe but this was lap 18 so that was a very nice transition if I don't say so myself um, and down to turn 3 again very late on the brakes as you see I could have gained time and then I run it a little bit wide which is unfortunate and, uh, here we go round this corner I think I lose some time there um, so if I could have kept that and there you see I've got a much worse transition and then final sector this was lap 50 so into this corner here braking nicely around the corner in third gear and you see the run I get, I don't take too much of the kerb, take quite a lot of it there. Probably could have been a little bit wider on the exit. Um, I thought maybe a straighter run to the line might be better. And that was my best optimum lap. So I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to take part, let me know in the Discord server or the comments below um, what time you do, what car you use, etc. But thank you very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching at the end. Hopefully you have a great day, hopefully see you in the next one, and until next time, bye for now.